Peace, brothers and sisters. This is Dr. Siddiqui Che Valle, uh, back at you again. Uh, it's a wonderful day here today, and I pray that your day is going wonderful also. Man, life is beautiful. Life is a beautiful thing to experience. It's all up to you, brothers and sisters, and we're going to get into that a little bit in a minute. But meanwhile, before we get started, I'd like to give all honor to our Creator, and also to our ancestors, the ones who were blessed with the blueprint of life by the Creator, to give us some meaning, some direction, and some purpose. Wow, that's beautiful. Also, we must honor the elders, the ones who bear witness to the degradation and dehumanization that has been bestowed upon them. And we want them to know that we understand, we appreciate them, and we're going to stand up and believe in them. We're so grateful for the elders for paving the way and giving us an opportunity to take it to another level. Also, we must pave the way for the youth, our future. Give them something specific to get from A to B, and therefore they don't, want to, they don't have to be stumbling all over the place like we were. Every generation should get better, so we have to make it better for them. And I'm willing. I'm willing. Meanwhile, brothers and sisters, also, I'd like to uh, reintroduce my book, my two books that I wrote. The first one is People Power, What Happened to the People of African Ancestry, and on the back, Be Purposeful. And the second one is Raw Food for Thought, Things We Must Eat, but the things we must eat mentally and spiritually. Yes, and on the back of this is Be More Purposeful. So we have to always take things to another level. Now in my first book, People Power, wow, I started this maybe about 30 years ago and just put it away and all of a sudden my energy said get it out and develop that book because this is going to be a part of your give back. Part of my purpose is to be an author. Wow, I never thought I would be that, but I am. All praises to the Creator. And I thank the, the ancestors for blessing me with the information, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that I must put in this book to relay it to you. People power. What happened to the people of African ancestry? Wow, look at what happened to us, brothers and sisters. Somebody flipped us upside down. We were first spiritual mental and physical but they told us that we were physical mental and spiritual well maybe they are but we are not if we are the original people we have to be spiritual first understand that but they made us physical and we are too emotional we are overly emotional so right there brothers and sisters we got to know that of who we are whose we are what we are and how we are. We must get back to the original way of life because this new stuff is not working. Look at what's happening to our youth and we have the audacity to get mad at them when they didn't get here there like that. They developed into that. So somebody had their hands in doing that and all of us did whether it was direct or indirect. So we must turn this thing around. We can do it. We got it in us. We are the original people. All we have to do is to tap into the powers that's already within. Wow. God is already there wherever you go. So what are you looking for? As a matter of fact, when you look in the mirror, you see a split image of God. So why don't you love and respect that? Somebody told you that was ugly. But we must turn this thing around. We are, we are the universe. So we are the most beautiful, the most wise, the most all that. Yes, people power. We must be purposeful. Get yourself together for the team. We are team players by nature. The second book, Raw Food for Thought, Things We Must Eat. Brothers and sisters, not or eating physical food, 
but eating mental food. We must be about right thinking, right giving, and right eating. That's balance. That's holistic. We must be holistic. We have too many people who's, who are specialized, who are fabulous in one area and flat out fail in other areas. We have to be more balanced. And balance comes through each other relationship, the very thing that we're trying to prove we don't need. But we do need it. That's how we got here. It took a team to get us here, and it's going to take a team to sustain us. And who's the team? Each other. Who else? We tried everything else. It didn't work, did it? But I guarantee you this. If we go back to the original way of life, in honoring and loving and respecting one another, you can't go wrong. Because one good person is worth a thousand regulars. Two good people is worth two thousand. So you get it? So let's go ahead on and do what we need to do. Now, in raw food for thought, it's dynamite, I'm telling you. The first chapter is right thinking, which means to understand your mind. Because mind is everything. We got to start developing our mind because man means mind, a thinker. We got to start thinking and stop being so emotional. Once again, they flipped us upside down and now we became physical first when in fact we were spiritual first. If we are the original people, we had to come directly from the creator. So therefore we are gods. We are gods. Don't be fooled by that. Don't get caught up into the wordings because they didn't tell you that. Study to show yourself approval. And you will see that what I'm saying is right on point. Don't be scared now. Don't be scared. Because a lot of times we don't like what we see. But we must start loving and respecting ourselves first. You have to have it to give it. I must have it in order to give it. So I must have my balance before I can balance anyone else. Energy recognizes itself. You can't fool it. So right thinking, we must understand our minds. We must develop our minds. We must challenge ourselves. Never allow anyone challenge you more than you challenge yourself. Never allow anyone to love you more than you. Never allow anyone to respect you more than you. Never allow anybody to think for you. So therefore, brothers and sisters, we must challenge ourselves. Go within and challenge ourselves to be bigger and better than ever before. Every year is a revolution around the sun. We must go into the new year a new person. We shouldn't just say happy new year. We should be able to say happy new you. Happy New You. Let's begin to start saying that. Happy New You. Because if you're the same as you was last year, then you have a problem. You have a serious problem. So we must grow and learn and evolve and transform and, and uh, metamorph and, uh, you know, step it up. Step it up to the next level. Remember Jacob's Ladder? Every round goes higher and higher. So we must go head on and get higher and higher. And we must have each other's back. We are group oriented people by nature. That's why we stayed around so long. Don't you know a lot of people down south ate pork, smoked cigarettes and everything, and they live a hundred and something years old. Why? Socialization was the key. We had something to look forward to. The grands, the great grands, each other. We fed off of each other's energy. And I just want to thank you for blessing me with the opportunity once again to enter into your home, the home of your mind. And I really appreciate you. Nothing but love and respect coming from this way. But before I finish, I would like to give you the four pearls of life once again. I always do that. That's going to be in all my books, all of what I say. Because the ancestors told me to pass this on. And you don't even have to go through what I went through to get it. The first one is this. Keep your lights on and keep them bright at all times. Some people are so obvious with their nonsense you don't need no lights. But keep them on anyway because they can create illusions. 
especially if you care about these people. It's hard to let people go that you know that don't have it all together, especially when you care. One thing about caring people, we love deep and we love hard, and some people take advantage of it. So therefore, since that's true, we must raise the line now. We got to draw a line that's lifted up now and go ahead on and be blessed. The second pearl of life is stay strong and keep your faith where it belongs. Because everybody's strength and faith is challenged and, and tested at all times. But accept the challenge. Then you can see what you're made of because life is, is about the uh, is about the, the most fittest will have a better chance to be here in life. The more fit you are, the better chance you have to be here. Thirdly, do your best and let God do the rest. Or do your best and pray for the rest. That's all you can do. But the key is, have you done your best? Be honest. Be true. Be straight. To yourself. So do your best and let God do the rest. In other words, you got to know when to hold and know when to fold. So how do I know when to hold and know when to fold? I have to have a sharp discerning spirit to know the difference so I won't be using emotions. I'll be using what I know. Because a wise man goes by what he knows, not what he feels. Matter of fact, life don't even deal with feelings. It deals with action. What you're doing. How well you're executing. They say there's no such thing as perfect. But guess what? There's only one thing that I found out that's perfect, and that's change. Change you must. You can't afford not to change. Everything is moving, but it's moving at its own frequency. So everything has life in it, and everything is relative. Last but not least, keep your head towards the universe where all strength comes from, and never give up, and never, ever, ever give in, no matter how things seem, seem as emotions now, no matter how things seem, because everything is, always was, and always will be in divine order. God don't make no mistakes, but we do. But when you learn from your mistakes, it's all good. So keep on growing and keep on learning. You can't go wrong. So always put at the bottom of the footnote that life can be painful. Not, not only life can be painful, life is painful. But that's all part of the process. So when the pain come, understand that's part of the process. And go ahead on to the other side of the pain and get your blessings. So with that in mind, brothers and sisters, it's a joy, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to enter into your home of your mind once again. I love you, I bless you, and I want you to prosper. Love and respect. Dr. Siddiqui Shea Baye.